What's happening YouTube? Kenny back with another how-to video coming to you straight from quarantine and today I got a real quick video for anyone that needs cleaner brake fluid. Quick disclaimer right here. Let me just say this first. I try to make my videos for everybody and I remember that there was a time where I didn't have money, I didn't have time, I didn't have tools, I didn't have a jack or jack stand, I had no one to help me and I didn't have the knowledge on how to properly flush slash bleed brake system. There was a time in my life where my brake fluid was black, my brakes were squishy, and I didn't have any of those things. But I need fucking brakes. So I needed to change the brake fluid and I needed to know how to do it without jacking up the car. If any of those fit you, this is an option for y'all. Of course, this is not the best option. If you want new brake fluid in the system, you need to flush or bleed the brakes, which flush and bleeding are the exact same process. Reason why is because brake fluid doesn't really circulate and bleeding the brakes will get the brake fluid out through the entire system. With all that being said and out the way, Today, we are going to change the brake fluid inside the master cylinder or the brake fluid reservoir And you can do this as many times as you want in this video I'm gonna show you before and after result after each time we change the brake fluid and we're gonna put pictures side by side So we can actually see if it did make a difference. That's the closest thing to data or scientific results is we're gonna get in this channel Come on, let's get it Now all you're gonna need to do this job is some brake fluid. This is synthetic dot three and it's the big bottle from O'Reilly. A turkey baster. I got this one at the 99 cent store. And some type of catch can. This is an old Arizona bottle. If you are reusing a turkey baster, make sure it's clean. Of course, you do not want to contaminate the brake fluid that's already inside. With all that out the way, let's pop the lid open and uncover our brake fluid reservoir. This system is called your brake master cylinder. For the purpose of the video, we'll just be calling it the reservoir. Go ahead and take out the cap. Now inside, you see we have a little filter. You're going to want to go ahead and pull that up very slowly, just prying on the sides. This is a plastic piece with some screening that's all it is just to filter it out we're gonna put that on top of the cat shan to not contaminate anything all right now with the cap and the filter removed we're gonna go ahead and get our turkey baster and start taking out some fluid now you have to be extremely careful because once you let air inside this reservoir you are going to have to bleed the entire system we are trying to avoid that so we're gonna take just enough fluid out so what we don't let air in then we're gonna replace it with clean fluid run it and do the process again that's the easiest way to do this let's go ahead so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the turkey baster you see i have it squeezed then we're gonna put it inside our reservoir and we're gonna let it go ever so slowly make sure you have your catch can ready and just start with just a little bit at a time Once again, you have to be extremely careful. We're only gonna take out enough fluid until we get it to the min line, which is minimum brake fluid required to be inside this reservoir. The max line is obviously the maximum amount of fluid that's supposed to be inside this reservoir. We had it at the max point, and so we're gonna keep going. Again, constantly watching that min line. All right, make sure you clean brake fluid. Brake fluid will eat through your paint like it's nothing, so make sure you clean all of it. Now, I hope you guys can see inside the reservoir, it's just about to hit this brim, this outer brim that we have, and you can see the min line is just right underneath it. I didn't want to go too close because we don't know how much of this is actually brake fluid or it could just be dirt that is, has stained our reservoir. So I'm playing it safe. I'm going to stop right there and we go fill it up with some nice new brake fluid. If you're ever not sure, just play it safe because if you take too much out and air gets into the system, it is not going to be a fun project. I'm going to go ahead and pour some brake fluid in. See how brake fluid looks? It's supposed to be clear. We're going to fill it all the way up to the max line. Just like that. Just like that. And you can see, actually, the color at the bottom changed. You remember how it was all dark? So now we know that that actually wasn't stained. That actually was dirty brake fluid. But it was okay. We played safe. This is actually the brake fluid that we took out. And I actually thought it'd be a lot worse, to be honest. Kind of looks like a little bit of a coffee color. All right, so putting everything back together is very simple. Go ahead and just put your screen filter. Go ahead and push it down. And then go ahead and put your cap on. I was at it a couple days later and we back we just put about 150 miles back onto the car. And as you can see, not too much of a difference. Maybe a little. I do see it's a little bit more clear than it was black since the first time we saw it. We're going to do the process one more time. Exact same process, just taking off the filter screen right here. 
nice and gently. And we're gonna keep extracting with the turkey baster until we hit the min line. Constantly checking, making sure you do not go past the min line. Once again, gonna play it a little safe and not go too close to the min line. Take a look at the fluid we got. You can see, I don't know, to me it looks more like a Arizona sweet tea type of color now, instead of the coffee color we had. And now, same process as before, we fill it with some nice and healthy brake fluid. Perfect. That is perfect right there. Make sure you clean the brake fluid that you spilled. Let's put another 100 mile and a half and we'll check back. Don't forget to reinstall your filter as well as seal it shut. All right, my bad. So I have to get this video out tonight. So I only put just under 100 miles on this car. That's how the brake fluid looks. I don't know about y'all, but I can definitely, definitely see a difference. Let me take off the cap. Definitely, I see a difference. And I'm just about to go for cleanse Numbro Thress. Let's get it. I all finished with the third cleanse. This is right after being topped off with brake fluid. You can see a very nice color. You can see there's more of a yellow tint towards the bottom, which isn't proving that we're cleaning because obviously we just put new fluid in there. But just showing that the bottom is not stained. So I do want to see all this a lighter color at some point in time. But this is the fluid we just took out. More of a like piss color to me. Maybe I'm just looking at it different. Maybe I want it to be a different color. But this does have a little bit less miles. I'm actually going to put all three clips. I'm going to use the same camera. I try to do them all at the same time. And we're going to put them all right next to each other right now. I just want to let you know that this brake fluid isn't bad at all. If you do have black brake fluid, it would look more like a solid black color. And finally, we have this. For those of you wondering, it's always about 50 milliliters I take out of old brake fluid and then obviously replace it with 50 more of brand new fluid. Okay, when would you want to do this on your car? How would you even know you need your brake fluid changed? Well, one of the more obvious is you feel it. Your brakes feel a little bit more squishy and they do not activate right away. Your brake pedal should have just a little bit of play before your brakes actually activate, but the threshold between that should be pretty small. If you feel like you need to push down a little too much for your brakes to actually activate on the car, your brake fluid might need to be changed. You can also get out the car and inspect the master cylinder yourself, aka the brake fluid reservoir. And if it's a really thick black, like you can't even see through it, you can't even tell that that liquid used to be clear, then it's time to be changed. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram for more updates because I will be doing this cleanse every week till we see it clear. Stay tuned for next week because we're going to flush the power steering an actual flush. We're not going to cleanse it, nothing like that. We're going to actually do a flush. Stay tuned. That's for next week. Alright, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Once again, guys, this isn't the best way to do it, but if you don't have the money to go pay a mechanic to get your new brake fluid or you don't have the money to go invest in some jack and jack stands just because you need brake fluid in your car, this is a very good way to do it. Easy. No tools needed. It's just going to take about five minutes of of your day after you drive your car just like normal and all it cost you was a bottle of brake fluid it couldn't hurt to take out old brake fluid and replace it with new ones anyways just so long as you don't let air into the brake system keep it just above the min line thank y'all so much for watching if y'all enjoyed the video please go check out my channel there is a lot more helpful how-to videos on there if this helped you out please let me know and if you're about to leave a comment oh my god this is not how you change brake fluid this doesn't do anything you need to do it right or not do it at all well it must be nice to have a jack and jack stands i remember when i did it and i remember when i needed brake fluid and no one was there to help me i have an entire video on my miata how to change the calipers and in that video i go into depth on how to bleed the brake system because that's what you have to do when you replace the calipers so if you want to see a complete brake flush go ahead and check out that video i will be having a how-to video solely dedicated to how to flush out your brake fluid system all that's on the way make sure you subscribe thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video bye